The poster said, join the army. See the world. I just graduated from college with no future plans. The world turned out to be the deserts of the Middle East. The Persian Gulf War had been over for four years. So far, my first years in the army had been uneventful. Until now. Corporal Janice McKenzie reporting. Are you Captain Ben Rogers? No. Captain Rogers is on assignment. I'm Carlisle. I see you know who we are. I was briefed at headquarters. Do you have a nickname, or will Janice do? Janice will do. This is Private Bernard Schwartz. Schwartz? They call me Bernie. We're British Special Air Services. We're a secret unit. We often work with Delta Force. I know Saddam Hussein and his army are threatening to invade again. But why am I here? Well, you're gonna be our liaison to headquarters. Give her a clipboard. But in the meanwhile, I've got something for you two to do. This is Section D. It's supposed to be deserted. I want you to go there, reconnoiter the entire area, and bring me back a full reconnaissance report. Give it the M9. Now you keep that hidden. All right, you two are dismissed. Sounded like a nice break. Sure beat the tedium of a desk at Army Intelligence. How could I know today would change my life forever? Relax, Bernie. Sector's deserted. Sergeant said so. I know, but something just doesn't feel right. When you're out in the open, you can't be too careful. Don't worry. I'll back you up with my clipboard. <laughs> I preferred you had your Beretta locked and loaded. Oh, I got that too. Hey, you still want a Mercedes? <laughs> Janice, Saddam Hussein has a very large army ready to invade at any time. This is serious. I know. Try the door? I uh, don't do that. It says here auto repair shop. <laughs> Looks like a junkyard. I don't think so.
Uh, now you're gonna relax. Janice, how many Iraqis does it take to fire off a Scud missile? How many? Three. One to load it, one to fire it, and one to watch news TV to see where it lands. <laughs> Janice, uh, that was a joke. Bernie, this place is not deserted. Which could lead to conflict. Let's get the hell out of here. Saddam Hussein still at the border? Afraid so. He won't invade. That's what you Yank said four years ago. Still got my desert storm patch. So what's news at headquarters, Captain? <laughs> I see you're ready. You know, you Delta guys, the most secret well-trained group in the Army, yet you wear civilian clothes. We have to swim in a sea of people, Sergeant Major. I know who said that. You just give me one little second and I'll... Oh, uh, Corporal McKenzie reported this morning. Now, she's not a Delta operator, is she? No, nah, military intelligence. She'll collect our findings and report back to headquarters. So where, uh, where is Corporal McKenzie? Sent her and Schwartz over a D section, the deserted section. You did what? That's why I was at headquarters. Terrorists are moving into that area right now. You better get over here. Schwartz in there. Mackenzie Schwartz in the point of dead terrorists. Check Bernie. All right. 
What can I hear about this at headquarters? They'll be singing your praises. What about them? Dead don't sing. Sorry, Barney. What? The leader! Come on! Hello, Doctor. Hi, how are you? Is this uh, Corporal McKenzie's room? Uh, yes, it is. I'm Captain Rogers, your commanding officer. I'm um, Colonel Askins, Army Medical Corps. Nice to meet you. How's she doing? Uh, she's out of intensive care, and that's a good sign. Bad sign is, she's not going to walk for four months. Thank you, Doctor. Go ahead. You're a first visitor. Thank you. Dr. Lane, you needed surgery. Dr. Lane, surgery. Sergeant Carlisle. No. Carlisle's off an assignment. But he told me to tell you hello. You must be Captain Rogers. Yeah. Bernie didn't make it, did he? Bernie would have been really proud of you. You took out all five terrorists. And you carried me out of a death trap. I remember now. Thank you. I shouldn't tire you. I just came by to give you a big hug. <laughs> Please don't. Every inch of me hurts. It's just a joke. Captains don't hug corporals. I better go. Please, stay. A few months later, Ben disappeared. It would be the last time I saw him. Carol Dodd, I'm the manager here. Oh, hey, Janice McKenzie. Nice to finally meet you, Janice. You're doing the photography for the new brochure, right? Yeah. Gosh, your club is beautiful. You're making my job really easy. Thank you. Today's my day to check the troops. I don't know why I said that. Subliminal message, maybe? I was in the US Army for six years. Wow. I bet you have stories to tell. Sorry, I hope I didn't push a button. Is that for the brochure? No, that was for blackmail. <laughs> like I was saying, today's my day to cover the grounds, landscaping, tennis courts, pool. So if you need anything, just give me a big Texas holler and I'm bound to hear you. Oh, I'll give you a big Texas holler, all right. Okay, Janice, thanks. He could have killed you. 
Maybe we should clean that up. Look, I I'm fine, really. I have to get to town. Wesley Advertising is waiting for these pictures. If you're sure. Yeah, I am. Thank you, though. This one's great. This one's perfect. This one, you nailed it. Thanks. I need you to come work for me. Oh, come on. I already work for you. Freelance. Freelance. I need this. I need you full time. Can't do that. You know why. Listen, we have been over this a million times. I can't work for you full time. Just, I want to be free and I don't want to feel tied down. Okay. Okay, freelance it is. I've got a job for you. I need you to shoot down at the beach bar. It's due by Friday. Okay, I can do that. Freelance. Next time you'll say yes. <laughs> I'll think about it. He never stopped. I don't think he even saw you. Oh, he saw me. I think the owner will be pleased with those shots. Good. So, is that it for the day? That is my last shot. Excellent. Why don't we go inside for a drink? Nah, I can't. Sure you can. I saved your ass yesterday. Fair enough. Give me just a couple minutes. I have to put this stuff away. See you inside? Yes, I will see you inside. You made it. Yep. Great. Get everything all packed up? I did. Excellent. Hi, girls. How's it going? Going great. You a Texas fan? Oh, yeah. Hook em horns all the way. Yes. Texas Longhorns, my alma mater. Where'd you go to school, Janice? Florida. Me too. <laughs> Bull. Don't believe him, Janice. He has a hat for every place in the world. Boomer. Meet Janice McKenzie. Oh, hi, Janice. Good to meet you. She's doing the photography for our brochure. Wonderful. Would you like something to drink? What are you having? Sarasota Gold. I'll take one of those. Coming up. Are you almost finished? Yeah, just about. I've seen your work. You're very good. Thanks. So, what's bugging you? Cause you're like talking to a dead mule. <laughs> My granddad used to say that to me when he knew something was wrong. So, how with it? I almost got hit by a truck yesterday. Yeah, I know. I was there. Not that one. Another one. Twice in one day. What a coincidence. Mm -mm. Not a coincidence? Janice, you need to talk to someone. Please take it.
A shrink? No. A psychologist. And she's very good. She helped me through. Marie Barbeau. Hi, I'm Marie Barbeau. Hi. I know I should have been born in the 18th century. Um, lounge or chair? Chair, I think. Born, Augusta, Georgia, 36 years ago. I see you're a college graduate. Where? Florida. University of, I assume? Mm -hmm. University of Florida. Um, you majored in, you didn't fill in the blank. Oh, English. English. Popular in school? Janice, I'm not a dentist. It is not my habit to pry information out of a patient. If I'm to help you, you have to help me. Is that understood? Yes. Good. Now, Janice, were you popular in school? My brother murdered our parents. You're dead, Janice! What do you think? Come on, Mackenzie. You're dragging. What are my chances? A roll? <laughs> Not good. How long? How long for what? How long have you been in prison, smart ass? Since you put it that way, none of your damn business. Let's go. Sit down. We'll never get out of here. Mackenzie, they're ready for you. Let's go. Your brother, Jamie Mackenzie. Where is he now? Prison. One moment, please. I went to China two years ago. That's Quan Yin, goddess of wisdom and mercy. Sometimes I think of Carol as Quan Yin. <laughs> Carol said you helped her. She did. What did she say? Just that you helped her out of a bad time. Hmm. Well, anything else you get from her. Doctor of patient privacy? Something like that. Your brother is up for parole. Did you know that? 
How did you know? I checked. Just now. Are you in contact with him? All the time. Really? That's surprising. Not in the way you think. You see, we're twins. Sometimes, I just know what he's thinking. What is he thinking? Janice, I'm gonna kill you. I still don't understand why he wants to kill you. My testimony sent him to jail. Well, that would have happened anyway. He doesn't see it that way. Do you dream at night? Nightmares. Do they concern your brother? I get these about once a month. Jamie killed my parents with a butcher knife. And he'll try and kill me with the same weapon. What about the truck? Was Jamie involved in that? Warnings. You see, Jamie thinks he's messing with my head. But he's not. Because I know he wants to kill me himself. I don't think he likes you. How much time you doing? 20 years. Damn, boy. What'd you do? I sliced, diced, and filleted my parents with a butcher knife. What did you do? Stole a car. So he sends you these things once a month. May I keep this? How many do you want? I have a whole box full of them. One is sufficient. Get to know Carol. Don't let that Texas bravado fool you. She has a way of recognizing people who need help. Because I'm different? Do you think you're different? Yeah. No, you're not different. The world is full of people like you. As a child, you experienced a horrible tragedy. You lacked the emotional maturity to deal with it. Consequently, you became an emotional victim. I will not be a victim. Now, what are you gonna do? Toss Jamie out of a window? Since I was 16 years old, I've known my brother would come for me. I'm ready. Janice, do you like yourself? Do you want to change? Would you change? I live with demons, doctor. Nightmares at night. Sinister shadows by day. Yeah, I would like for that to change. But how do you get rid of demons? You don't feed them. Excuse me. Hello? Carol. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's right here. Cool. Uh -huh. OK. Yeah. Bye. That was Carol. This is your prescription. You can't write prescriptions. Take this.
Okay. I'll see you soon, Doctor. Okay. with Carol, three times a week. Overdose is permitted. Hi. Hi. You want a towel? Sure, thank you. Hi. Hi. I, I'm Peter. Okay, Peter. Thank you. Okay, Peter. Beat it. Oh! Bye. Bye. Bye, Peter. Okay. <laughs> There's the other half of our force. Uh, hi. hi. I'm Audrey. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Diane. Good to see some fresh blood out here. Uh, <laughs> I hope you told her that we play for some pretty high stakes. Oh, you betcha. You know, drinks at the bar and the loser pays. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm going to go change. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bye, Malibu Barbie. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> Come back as tennis, Barbie. Come. You know everything's gonna match. I know there's pink shoes coming out. Oh, you can believe that. <laughs>
The lighting doesn't have to change. It's perfect. It's freelance. It's the kind of gig you wanted. Yeah. Okay. You'll love it. Thank you. Well? We're on. We're on for what? For what we talked about, you idiot. What do we talk about? Never mind. Just drive. Anybody in here?
Marie, it's Janice. I gotta talk to you right now. Yes. Um, I'm at the dock. Just come as soon as you can. Thanks. Janice. Janice, what's wrong? Talk to me. I killed a man. Why? What did he do to you? He came at me with a butcher knife. What makes you think you killed him? When he came at me, I threw him against the wall. And then everything went black. Are you sure he's dead? When I woke up, he had a butcher knife sticking out of his chest. And there was blood on the floor. I panicked, and I just ran. We need help. the cops? He's a friend. He and Carol were in love once. They broke up over something silly like him stepping on her feet when they danced. I told Carol she was being stupid. Hey. Hi. You <laughs> look Marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. Easy, Fred Astaire. What would Carol think? <laughs> She'd think I was being silly. <laughs> All right, I'm here. Marie says you have a problem. You're a cop. Yeah, I am. But I'm also a friend. It's okay. Want to take a walk? Come on. We'll be right back. So? Do you think she bought it? Oh, yeah. The clown lying there in the pool of blood. <laughs> you bet she bought it. She ran out of that circus tent like an Olympic sprinter. <laughs> She knew it was a birthday gift from her brother. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. When she woke up, man, I mean, like, wow, she freaked. That's what I wanted. One big circus surprise. Great haunted house, huh? Fake butcher knife and all. <sighs> Shoot, I forgot to leave the drawing. Doesn't matter. Clown lying there, all those other clowns. It was fun, huh? Hey, but won't she eventually find out that this was all a hoax? Of course. But for now, my dear sister knows how much I love her.
Hey, Leon. Hi. How's it going? All right. Has uh, anything unusual been happening around here lately? I've been here all week. Haven't seen anything. Okay, thanks. Sure. So, where's the body at? It's over there. Uh, it was right there. Catch up. I don't understand what's going on here. Well, it was probably pretty uh, scary in the dark. You sure we're in the right place? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, let's go through it again. You uh, came through that door, took a few pictures, and then uh, you were attacked by the clown. Tell me that part. Then I threw him across the room. Hmm. Really? You threw the clown across the room? Yeah. Do you want me to show you? <laughs> no, it's okay. What's that? It's a uh, ketchup. Hmm. Looks like blood to me. <laughs> What's going on here? Janice was attacked by a clown. Thank you. Hey, we'll leave the light on for you, Jamie. Tripped over my own cane. Here, let me help. <laughs> well, well, hey, man. Yeah, can you? Yeah. Can you help me get to that bench over there? Okay. Oh. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I think so. That's an expensive camera. You must be a professional. Freelance. I'm working for SRQ Magazine today. Does that mean anyone can hire you? Let me take you to lunch. Uh, uh, no, no, sorry, sorry. No, 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 I, I didn't mean it. Look, you know I'm a writer. I'm planning a special book about Sarasota. What have you written? Five novels. I'm impressed. Don't be. They're all in one drawer with 73 rejection letters. But now this book about Sarasota could be my breakthrough. Hmm. Janice McKenzie. Hey, didn't I see your name on a book? Behind the mystery? Yes, I love mysteries. I did the photography. Stuart Kaminsky did the narrative. Oh, Kaminsky's the best. Now, see, that's what I want to do with this book. Only about Sarasota, its people and places. Sounds good to me. Well, if you're willing, I found my photographer. You found her? All right. <laughs> Here, let me give you a card. Okay. Um, give me a call when you want to get started. 
You better believe it. All right. Take care of that knee. Be careful. Here we are. Wait, you live on a boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too cool. Come on, I'll show you. Awesome. OK, now watch your step, since this is your first time. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> to good friends. Good friends. Tonight is kind of special. <laughs> Not like goodness. I'm talking about a huge burst. <laughs> Carol, get your mind out of the gutter. Come it's on. nowhere in the gutter. Never in the gutter. <laughs> Clean Carol. <laughs> Let me get the umbrella for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. It was. Well, we'll do night. it again soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. What did happen? I don't know. He had a butcher knife. I'm gonna go and check for fingerprints. Okay? Okay. Take care of her. It's okay. Backup's on the way. What are we gonna tell him? Somebody tried to kill me? Actually, somebody tried to kill Janice. This is her boat. I almost got you by mistake. I think it's time I told you guys about my brother. tried this five times. I, I, I don't get it. That's because... <laughs> Amazing. You know, I think I've seen this before. Your time in prison wasn't totally squandered, was it? Jamie McKenzie introduced me to this guy. Cost me 300 big ones. And you learned this trick? No. I lost $300 gambling. He shouldn't have laughed at me, though. I slammed his face against the wall and made him teach me. <laughs> well, a worthwhile investment if I say so myself. And with what Jamie McKenzie's gonna be paying us, this should be a significant increase in our revenue stream. Revenue stream? Let me worry about that. Get the door. Couldn't help it, boss. She hit me in the ball with an umbrella. What a stupid little umbrella. Actually, it was quite large. Shut up. You were supposed to scare Janice. Not make her laugh. <laughs>
Corporal McKenzie. Captain Rogers? Colonel Rogers. I've been promoted. Congratulations, Colonel. It's good to see you. It's really good to see you. I wasn't sure you'd want to see me. Four months in that army hospital. You were the only one who cared. We all worried you might not be. You don't have to worry. I'm tough. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I want you to listen carefully because this is very simple. You got the chloroform? Uh-huh. Yeah, good. You're gonna go to the marina. You're gonna wait for Janice. You're gonna grab her. You're gonna chloroform her. You're gonna tie her up and you're gonna wait for me to get there. You think you can do that, guys? Sure we can do that. Yeah, you sure you can do that? Sure we can yeah? do that. Good. Don't mess this up. Cut it. So how did you know where to find me? Your friend Carol Dodd told me you were doing a photo shoot at Jungle Garden. Interesting. An army colonel, intelligence branch. You are still intelligence, right? Right. Who just happens to pass through a cozy Florida beach town and runs into an old friend at the Jungle Gardens? Come on. What gives, Colonel? Ten years ago, you had a shootout with five terrorists on a back street in Kuwait. And a young American private was killed. Mm -hmm. Private Bernard Schwartz. Bernie was a good kid. Yes, he was. Gray's registration found four dead terrorists, not five. Could we have miscounted? No, I, I don't think so. Schwartz's identification disappeared. For a long time, he was listed as missing in action. So what does that matter? It mattered. Schwartz recently entered the United States. Or somebody who claims to be Bernard Schwartz. Forged passport? Where is he now? Well, we trailed him from Kuwait to Florida. Apparently, he changed his appearance before he disembarked in Miami. We lost him. That's twice you've said we. Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security? Janice, this man, he sworn to kill you. How do you know? We have informants. Do you remember Sergeant Bronson? Yeah, of course. He was your sergeant in Kuwait. Yes. Kadir murdered him three years ago. He blames you and Bronson for the deaths of his relatives. Janice, this man is coming to kill you. Well, tell him to get in line. You're my last appointment, come on. Let's get a drink. I spoke to Carol. She seems to have recovered. Janice, don't do this to me. Oh, don't give me this I don't know what you mean look. I'm sorry, my mind's it's just somewhere else right now. Jamie was released from prison yesterday. Did you know that? What are you going to do? I'm gonna wait. You're gonna wait for Jamie? Janice, Jamie is a killer. So am I. <sighs> is there something you need to tell me? I'm being followed. And it's not Jamie.
Can I see? Sure. Sorry, did I frighten you? No. I knew you were there. Brilliant. That's exactly what I want you to do. Good. Where do we go from here? I'll meet you over at the statue. Who's your friends? It's like a vignette from the end of World War II. Pretty impressive, huh? War's over. Everybody's happy. Janice! Carol? What are you doing here? I'm on the committee to keep this in Sarasota. Good luck on that. I love it. Uh, hey, this is Ron Barrett. He's my new client. He's doing a book on Sarasota. He's gonna use my pictures. Good to meet you, Rod. I gotta finish this call. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, bye. Nice lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great stuff. What's next? The cats. Tell it to the judge tomorrow. Relax. Yeah. Abe, where are you? Um, <clears throat> I'm at the police headquarters. I'm, um, I'm waiting on a fax. We were supposed to have lunch. I know. I, um, I can't. I'm waiting on. We have something really important. Abe, what's going on? All right, I think Janice is into some trouble. There's a terrorist coming in from Kuwait to kill her. Look, I'll explain more later. Just don't bring the word of this to anybody. Homeland Security thinks he's already here. I understand. Kuwait. You're rather quiet, aren't you? Are you always like this? Most women by now, a million questions. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what do you do? Where are you from? Are you married? You're a writer. You're from another country. And you're not married. Very good. Perfect, in fact. Yes to writer, but you already knew that. Yes, from another country, and... Yes to not being married. How did you know I wasn't married? No ring. <laughs> we match. How about dinner? I already have a dinner date. Hey, Boomer. Hi, Janice. You're always polishing mugs. Oh, the Logger Lovers Club. Got to take care of the members, you know. <laughs> I'm a member, too. Really? Oh, Boomer. Mm hmm That's quite a name for a bartender. Hey, I wasn't always a bartender. The time when I was a professional baseball player. Hot prospect. Used to hit the long ball, you know? <laughs> Out of the park. That's why they got the name Boomer. <laughs> so why'd you quit? Eh, pitchers found out I couldn't hit a curveball. She 
She's at the bar. Talking to the bartender. Talking. Janice the mute. Well, that won't last long. I've got the chloroform. You know what I told you to do? You need to do it quick. When she comes down the ladder, I got understand? It, I got it. If I miss, she'll kick my ass. Damn right she'll kick your ass. Come on, we gotta get to the boat before Janice does. Mr. Rogers. Hi, Boomer. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Hey, Boomer. How about a bottle of Pinot Noir? Coming right up. All right. Go home. Arrest somebody. Stop loitering by the fax machine. Hey, listen. If the fax comes in, I'll call you. Do you still hate me? I never hated you. You should have. I just didn't understand. I thought we were in love. We were. I still am. I bought an engagement ring when you were in the hospital. Really? Well, I hope you got a full refund. That same night, two men in suits came to my door. They said, Emilio Vargas, you have 30 minutes to pack. He had the wrong person. No. My superiors created a new identity for me. I was going undercover in a new country. Why you? No family. Fluent in Spanish. And I was trained. <sighs> so why didn't you call me? No communications allowed. With anybody. The injustice was to come home. I was discovered. My captors didn't take kindly to my deception. to torture me for three years. When I escaped, I hid out in the jungle for three more years. I was in pretty bad shape when I finally got rescued. And the only thing that kept me alive was thinking about you. I didn't get a refund. I've never stopped loving you.
morning. <laughs> Good morning. You're really here. I have to go. Oh no. Just don't go, Janice. Don't go. I just have to get a couple things from my boat. You can't still be on duty. <laughs> Does it look like I'm still on duty? This who you've been waiting for? Who's this guy? He's a terrorist. And he may be in Sarasota. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, I just pulled up. Okay, I'll be up in uh, just a couple minutes, all right? Yeah. All right, sweetie, I gotta go. Bye. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. You are thinking you're gonna come in and lie down. It's right to wrong. You know what you're dealing with. I'll save it. Hey, pal. The plan was so simple. I wanted Janice to suffer. I wanted to intimidate her. I wanted to scare her. Then what happens? You guys make like the Three Stooges. But there's only two of us. What? Well, there's Three Stooges, and Dad and I, we're like two. Shut up, Max. Just shut up. Jamie is quite right. Perhaps we should have planned a, a more viable line of attack. What if Janice has an accident? What did you say? What if Janice has an accident? Janice has an accident. Janice has an accident. Janice has an accident. Janice has an accident. That's not bad for a half wit. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <laughs> I like it. Hello, sister dear. Hey, Abe. Hey, you only got half the facts last night. Yeah, and Colonel Rogers never showed either. Who's Colonel Rogers? Homeland Security. He's looking for the same guy you are. That was his picture you took last night.
Jamie? Last one, sister dear. Sister dear. Sorry about everything happening like this. That was not my intention. To bring in an innocent man. <clears throat> Whack me over the head. Okay. Here's what happened. boat leave this slip well yeah about midnight the two ugly dudes couldn't get it started at first they had to call in a third guy did they say where they were going yeah this uh, Jamie dude told him to take it straight out Jamie one of their names was Jamie McKenzie well, yeah that's what one of the ugly dudes kept calling him did you see a pretty blonde girl oh yeah It's okay. You're protecting Janice, right? That's right. Good, good. Now, hey, just get me out of here. Carol. Abe. Abe, listen to me. Janice has been kidnapped. What? Some guy named Jamie McKenzie. Yes, he said his name was Jamie. You sure it's Jamie McKenzie? I'm sure. I'll get a boat. Just meet me at the marina. All right, we'll be right there. Anticipation with Colonel Rogers on board. This is Sam at Sarasota Marina. This is Colonel Rogers. 
Roger, Captain. Two men in a small boat reported us seeing a sailboat sink approximately 30 miles west of Big Pass. Do you have any further information? Did they help? Uh, good copy, Captain. I don't think so. They were too far away. The transmission came in very broken and unreadable. Survivors. Any survivors? No, I, I don't think so. hiring you two guys. But, as someone once said, all's well that ends well. It was, uh, it was Shakespeare. What was Shakespeare? What you said was a play written by William Shakespeare. Coast helicopters discovered a sinking yacht some 30 miles offshore from Siesta Key. The helicopter pilot reported that when he went in close to investigate, he discovered a woman in the water. Circumstances as to the sinking of the yacht are unclear at this time. The woman's name and why she was alone on the yacht are unknown. Police investigating the accident. And now, local... Jamie McKenzie tried to kill Janice. He put a hole in her boat and expected her to drown. Here's Jamie's picture. Nasty looking as homemade sin. Watch out for that creep. I wish it were that simple. There's a second man trying to kill Janice. Janice. It happened during the Gulf War. Kuwait, 1994. You were in the Gulf War? Yep. Corporal Janice McKenzie. Ben was my commanding officer. Janice was in a firefight with a terrorist named Kadir and four relatives. All died except Kadir. And now he's here in the United States under a forged passport going by the name of Bernard Schwartz. Fake dates, fake picture. What does he look like? Dark skin, beard, brown eyes. That was 10 years ago. He's a master of disguises. Thanks to a hidden camera in Miami, we know what he looks like now. Oh my god. Janice. Isn't this... That's Rod Barrett. You know him? Yeah. Alias Kadir. Janice, you spent last week with that man. Why didn't he kill you then? I don't know. The cat playing with his prey. Do any of you have guns? I do. And I know how to use it. Well, I don't. Abe? Carol, no. You end up getting yourself shot. We're gonna be taking care of it. Federal agents are coming in tomorrow. Right, Ben? That's right. We already arrested the Crass brothers yesterday and they were trying to rob a convenience store or something. But your brother is still at large. Fine. 
Meanwhile, we all need to stay close to Janice. Janice, do you hear that? You've got friends that will stick by you. No. This is something I did. Me. I need to disappear. Janice, be reasonable. Sooner or later, and probably sooner, one of these monsters is gonna come and find you. I said no. You're gonna get hurt, so just stay away from me, all of you. No, Janice, you are not gonna do this. Evil only wins when good people do nothing about it. And we're not gonna let that happen. Come on, we'll walk you home. It's okay. I have my big, strong soldier to protect me. It's been quite a day. Thanks. Don't leave her side. I will. Get some rest. I will. <laughs> My left leg. Oh. I love you. This has to end. When we were out at the big cat habitat, I thought you were beginning to like me. I liked you better when you were dead in Kuwait. For my family. I hear you're an expert at martial arts. Let's just see how good you are. Hurt him, Jamie. You wouldn't shoot your brother. Are you okay? Is your guys okay? Yeah. Thank you. 